They be like, Yah, trick ya. Hey, soldier boy, can I? Yah, trick ya. Yo, a rap, I really. Yah, trick ya. Cali Park, man. Hey, man, I was just wondering, can I get a? Yah, yah, trick. Hey, Russell boy. Hello, I'm Russell boy. Welcome to the math part of this video. What kind of shoes you wear? Man, I got me some five nipes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but because this video isn't about shoes or or drugs or gangs or nudity because that's all. Because this video is PG. Yeah, PG or maybe even G. Okay. Now so, it's time for a math lesson. So now you're gonna learn about math. Okay. Cut. <laughs> and now time for math lesson. A prism is a polyhedron with two congruent faces called faces that lie in parallel planes. The other faces, called lateral faces, are parallelograms formed by connecting the corresponding vertices of the bases. The segments connecting these vertices are lateral edges. Prisms, Prisms are classified by the shapes of their bases. <laughs> the surface area <laughs> of a polyhedron. Stop! This is a G-rated film. <laughs> the surface area of a polyhedron is the sum of the areas of its faces. The lateral <laughs> area of a polyhedron is the sum of the area of its lateral faces. Imagine that you cut some edges of a polyhedron and unfold it. Hard stuff, eh? <laughs> The two-dimensional representation of the faces is called a net. A net! The surface area of a prism is equal to the area of its net. Right prisms. The height of a prism is the perpendicular distance between its bases. In, In a, a right prism, each lateral edge is perpendicular to both bases. A prism with lateral edges that are not perpendicular to the base is an oblique prism. Now show the picture, Russell. This is a right rectangular prism. As you can see, it has a height. <laughs> <laughs> this is an oblique triangular prism because it has little triangle things on the edges. And it has a height. Yeah. And you can see what the heights are in both of them. It's like the distance from the top to the bottom. And now, oh, oh, look, that was a theorem. Go down, <laughs> Russell. Go no, down. no, we're gonna we're gonna tell you about the theorem in person, right, Raj? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is a theorem that you need to know. It is called theorem 12.2. Surface area of a right prism. The surface area of S of a right prism is S equals 2B plus PH equals AP plus PH. Where A is the epithem of the base, B is the area of the base, uh, A base, sorry. P is the perimeter of a base, and H is the height. Okay, let me read you that again. You get that, guys? That's S, which is surface area, equals 2B plus PH <laughs> equals AP plus PH. That's correct, Russell. Yes. If you want to see a little diagram, then I'll show you one right now. There. S equals 2B plus PH equals AP plus PH. And you can read that little stuff there. Except you can't really read it because it's hard to read. Because it's math. <laughs> we are now going to tell you about cylinders. And to make this relate to the real world, we'll show you some cylinders in real life. There's a cylinder. A trash can is a good example of a cylinder. On the playground, there are some cylinders, like those tall bars, maybe. I don't know. There aren't many cylinders. <laughs> I don't think anyone uses cylinders. Yeah, cylinders are kind of useless. Except maybe on cars. Yeah, maybe the basketball pole. No. But that uh, car it's a wheel. Long cylinder. <laughs> it is a very long cylinder. Maybe, yeah. Well, I, I, I guess a wheel is a cylinder. Yeah. What else? You think this is a Rush cylinder? Face. You think this is a cylinder? It's a light bulb. 
I no, that's not a cylinder. How about you? How about how about you smash it just to prove? Okay. Okay, so we're back. In the background is a basketball hoop right there. All right, hold on. Let me get my book. Let me get my book. Raj is getting his book because if we both have books, we both look like really smart. Like I'm reading from one, he's reading from another, and we're like the cylinder. Blah, 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 blah. So Raj has his book. We're on page 805, Raj. Class, you can follow along. Turn in your books to page 805. That's 1-800-313-805. <laughs> okay, are you ready, Raj? Let's begin our math lesson. Okay, I go first. Okay. <laughs> a cylinder is a solid with a congruent circular bases. Duh. <laughs> I know. They lie in parallel planes. The height of a cylinder is the perpendicular distance between its bases. The radius of a base is the radius of the cylinder. In a right cylinder, the segment joining the centers of the bases is perpendicular. That's perpendicular Ooh, this page is cool. to the bases. I'm glad you found a cool page, Raj, but we gotta focus on the lesson, okay? Aww. Okay, so we have another theorem for you, but I think this is the last one. Yes, it's our last theorem, which we only had two, so it's only the second, but still the last one. Okay, it's S equals 2B plus CH equals 2 pi R squared plus 2 pi R H. Yes, that's how you find the surface area of a right cylinder. Remember, a right cylinder is when the segment joining the centers of the bases is perpendicular to the bases. So, that this is, is hard stuff. Yeah, and we'll hard. show you another diagram to find the surface area of a right cylinder. Hard stuff. Okay. Really, really hard. Yeah. Hard. There's your little diagram. So hard right you can read the little figures. <laughs> Shut up. It's not that hard. You guys just have to practice and make sure you study every night at home and read this. Even though I'm holding it backwards and it's kind of hard for me to hold it. And there's like some words. If you like words. If you don't like words, you can just look at the diagram again. That's yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. I think that's done with our math lesson. So we can just do some crazy stuff to fill up the rest of our ten minutes. Yeah. Class seems to last forever sometimes. I know. Like this hourglass. It's taking forever. Oh my god. I have something really cool to say guys. This is a cylinder and since the toy companies want to make it all like perfect, it's probably a right cylinder. So you can use the formula that we just taught you to measure the surface area. Yeah. If I could get it on the camera. There. It's pretty neat stuff guys. I don't Geometry know is everywhere. Geometry is awesome! Super awesome! Like Raj. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. I'm back. And I have a basketball again. I have this thingy. Raj, get that out of the camera. And, and I'm going to show you about some math. And I think my mom's coming. Bobby. Yeah, she is. But, but first, I'm going to show you some math. And what you do is you calculate the distance. Like, I, I calculate a high arc in. And, and I have to go see. And, and, and a high arc and perfect velocity. It's all geometry, really. And then it's going to go squish right through the net. Like, watch this. Oh, see, the calculations were just barely off. If I, if I, if I tweak them, I think, just I, think I should much, write Just this, this, yeah, this yeah. much. I, I think I'll try it again. Try it again with my tweaked calculations. Bam. Uh -huh. See, that's all day, baby. All day. Are yeah. you kidding me? I can shoot that shot all day. Watch this. I'm at Springfield Estates. Okay, bye. Bam. That's how it is. And that's the end of our video. So thank you for watching. And tune in next time. Suck that, Russell. Suck Russell that. Boys. Suck that. Suck that. Suck that. Suck that. Stop <laughs> on Russell Boys and Raj Boys math tutoring sessions. I get a little tap. She drop it like it's hot. When I'm at the bottom, she hit the beat bottom. Dang! <laughs> Did that cut you?
No.